is the Module 5 Ford Bond example. I worked it in class today. Uh, I'm going to work it again just so you can see it from front to back and in quick succession. Um, the example setup is that we have a Ford Bond that has a face value of $1,000, semi-annual coupon payments, a coupon rate is 3.75%, two-year term to maturity, and then a fair discount rate of 4% annually. Okay, so what's the price given those assumptions? Let's open Excel. I'm going to start a new one. All right, the coupon rate is 0 0.0375. The uh, term is semi-annual, and so that means that the coupon, uh, and let's, let's write up here, this is annual. Semi-annual is just going to be that divided by 2. If it were monthly, it would be that divided by 12, but it's not. Okay, um, now we have the face value, which is $1,000. So that means that the coupon payment I might make this wider, is that times that, 18.75. Okay, um, we're gonna do time, and I'm gonna do it in six month intervals. So we're gonna do time, and then I'll put years up here just to make it easier to understand, 1.5 and two. All right, so each of these payments we're going to have, or each of these time periods, we're going to have a coupon payment of that. We're going to assume that if we're standing at time zero, that yesterday the coupon payment was paid. Unless the problem says so, otherwise it's a pretty good assumption. The last thing that we're going to do is we have a payment of $1,000 in time four. All right, so we're going to have the sum of these cash flows. And I'll add a border just to make it look pretty. Oops. I'll add a border just to make it look pretty. All right, the PV of these cash flows. Let me add insert. The interest rate. Um, and you can do this in a lot of different ways. I'm going to put 1.04 because it makes my life easier. You can do it with 0.04, but you have to add one to convert to the interest rate in the next period, uh, or to, to convert to like a sub-annual interest rate. Um, so let's call this annual rate. All right, to get the semi-annual rate, we're going to do this to the power of 1 half. Now we could do six over 12 because there are, the payments are every six months and there are 12 months in a year. Um, there are lots of different ways to do this. It will work um, as long as the fraction reduces to one half. All right, so our periodic rate for every six months is, is slightly less than 2%. That makes sense because the annual rate is 4%. Okay, so the present value is that the sum of the cash flows divided by one, well, the semi-annual rate, one plus r to the power of time. And I'm going to bold this just so it's very clear. There we are. And this is the answer that we came up with in class, $9.95, or I'm sorry, $995.98. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this out here. Uh, with two years to maturity at 2%, 4%, and 8%, the price here is 995. Let's call it 96. All right, let's do just a little bit of math. So we have, um, what's the price? That would be the answer for that one. Uh, what is the price if you change it to 2% and to 8%? So let's fill that in. 1.02, the price becomes 1034.34. If we change it to 1.08, the price becomes 925.52. All right. Notice, this price is less than $1,000.
um, this price is more than $1,000. It's more than the face value of the bond. The original bond rate is 3.75%. So this one is, the interest rate is below the initial interest rate, and therefore the bond trades at a premium. These two interest rates are above the initial, initial interest rate, and therefore the bond trades at a discount. That's part of our uh, interest rate goes up, price goes down, and vice versa. Interest rate um, goes down, price goes up. Okay, so the next question is, if we only have six months left to maturity, then work the problem again. So in this case, I'll just set it up again. Let's see. Years time zero one zero uh, well it's point five so we only have six months the the total payment is going to be one eight seven one oh eight point seven five cash flow mpv all right equals i can do it right here equals that divided by the semi-annual rate to the power of, we're only in the first time period, so it's just going to be 1. And let's call this PV and NPV just for the sake of being. OK, so it's 6 months. And at a an 8% interest rate, the value of the bond is 9.29 at a 4% interest rate, it is 998.97. At a 2% interest rate, it is 1008.71. Notice again, the 2% bond, it trades at a premium, but the premium decreases over time. Notice here that the 4% bond trades at a discount, but the discount decreases over time as it gets closer and closer to expiration. Similarly, this, the 8% bond, is trading at a discount and it gets closer and closer to uh, the face value as it gets closer and closer to execution. And that is how you would do the first part of those problems.